Really, in terms of the, the conference itself, it's a, a reconfirmation of the, uh, the kind of vibrancy of the industry uh, today. Uh, I wouldn't say it's um, excessively optimistic. I think it's realistic about the future. But whether we talk about it being 40 FPSOs or 20 FPSOs over the next five years, in some ways, doesn't matter. Uh, there's certainly a lot of um, uh, activity in the industry. Uh, that we're pleased to be a part of. Sustainability means different things to different people. You know? um, the way we look at it in terms of our services really for, for water treatment, uh, process uh, and gas on the top side um, is helping um, uh, leasers and, and operators uh, be more sustainable in their use of water uh, and the re being able to re-inject uh, produce water back into the, into the well safely and economically, and also from an environmental point of view, really taking care of the, uh, of the asset. Uh, and that's something that's been more of a, uh, a key measurement for, for FPSO uh, leasers and, and, and operators over, I would say, over, over recent years. Well, that comes down to the design aspect of, um, we've heard a lot during this conference about getting the design right for the long term. Um, and making sure you have uh, sustainable operations. And that, a lot of that means in making sure we have the correct design of the, of the top site in particular, uh, to make sure that there is a, a stable operation. Stable operation uh, means that you've got a sustainable operation, so you've got less incidents uh, with the operation, less flaring, for instance. Um, uh, so that's something that's, that's a real a key part of the design making process. And sometimes, um, looking more at lifetime cycle costs rather than the, the initial operating costs. I think lifetime cycle, um, looking at your life cycle, life cycle costs rather than the, just the build cost, the capital costs, it links directly into sustainability. So if you look at operational excellence, operational excellence means a sustainable operation, which generally means you have a better environmental compliance and performance as well. Well, I think uh, one of the key things that's changed just now is the accounting rules. And I'm no expert on accounting, right? But uh, learning more about whether that means that long-term leases or more BOTs will become more of the norm, whether you'll have um, the operators you know, purchasing FPSOs and operating that way. I think that's one of the key things I take out of this event, that uh, how is that going to change you know, in terms of the... Um, the way uh, FPSOs are built and then, and then operated and then leased or not leased uh, moving forward. Uh, I think that's one of the key uh, changes I see. Uh, I think in terms of the, uh, the market itself, um, moving much more onto uh, an automated, um, I wouldn't say remote, fully remote operated, but the ability to, uh, to operate with uh, improved sensors and a, and a I'm loath to say a digital model, but um, more of a, uh, an automated way of, uh, of operating uh, the systems than there, there currently is today. Uh, I think something we're going to see more and more of, and it relies very heavily on having connected sensors to be able to do that.